I'd kill for a non-fat caramel macchiato. Best thing about the end of days is the end of stupid coffee. Nothing stupid about artisan coffee. You like my nan's? That wasn't artisan. She just made it with rum. And you never called her stupid? I never called her alcoholic either, but we all knew the truth. No! Nah. Nah. Oh! The finger! I hate this ball! It's not safe! No, oh, safer than a bank. On the bank, this finger'd be attached to a zombie. Well, not now Jude and his hold on toast. It's Birmingham, fam. There's always more zombies. Oh, man. Ramblers. What are they eating? Cyclists. And here we go again. They're old, though. They'll be slow. No, they're ramblers. Walking's what they do. Get me out of Birmingham, man. Get me home. And get me coffee. Do you think it's got to London? The apocalypse? Bloody hope not. It's the whole point of getting out of Birmingham. You could always come to Magaluf. Does this canal go to Stansted? I think flights out of the UK might be quite hard to come by right now. EasyJet will be all over it, and Birmingham survivors should get priority. I mean, I have had a terrible apocalypse. Julie, Jude, that stripper that exploded on me. Yeah. It's not all about you, though, Jo. Rich! It's the M42. Guys, this is it. The edge of Birmingham. What's that? What? Please pull into the bank and turn off your engine. We're never getting out of this town. We're evacuating all civilians from Birmingham. We're getting out of this town! They've got guns! I love guns! Civilization! Don't stop. What? This is just like Outbreak. Wolfgang Peterson, 1995. Donald Sutherland traps all these innocent people in a contaminated town, tries to blow them up with a thermobaric weapon, and Morgan Freeman does nothing about it. This is safety cap. We've done it. I'm telling you, we stop, we die. Oh, stop being such a drama queen! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Morgan. What have you done? Sleep for Lollipop. Strawberry, what did you get? It's a Handmaid's Tale all over again. Not the 1990 film, the frankly superb television reboot. I thought it was like Outbreak. No, none of the soldiers are wearing masks. Handmaid's Tale's a better reference point. Isn't that about infertility and sex slaves? I don't see how this is like that. What it's about is a dystopian future, and mark my words, that lollipop is how it all starts. Next. Welcome to Edge Baston Evacuation Centre. Or internment facility. It's a primary school. Even worse, low walls and soft tarmac. Where's your security? We have guards on every entrance. There's one entrance. Which is guarded. He's got no backup, no field of vision. Who's in charge of this shit show? I am. Oh. Awkward. No, I'll need you to fill out some forms. You said I had great veins. What did you get? Lime. Strawberry. So, when can we get out of this death trap? Take it easy. He's just trying to help. You can leave just as soon as we know you're virus-free. I'll have those forms when you're finished. Thanks. Can't believe you two are buying into this. The soldiers at the door and food on the plates. This is the finish line, Cap. We made it. We can go home and have caramel macchiatos. And you can play Fortnite till your thumbs fall off. Fortnite? It's for fanboys and five-year-olds. My point is, is that you don't need the boat to get back to your game of buddies in London. I've seen this film. And you guys, you're not gonna like the ending. You know what? I do have great veins. Magaluf's amazing right now. It's just warm enough, but the tourist season's not kicked in. You've got to come out. Try the margaritas. Excuse me. Rob! Joe. Hmm? What are you doing here? Did you get my message? I left one on your phone about the boat and Julie. 
You took my boat. Yes, and on the Julie front, look, I know you don't think I liked her, and whilst that is very true... Look, Jo, whatever happened... I killed her. Good. What? Well, I couldn't do it, so I left her. Then grew up, her, came back. Boat had gone. You knew she was a zombie all along? Well, that is unbelievably annoying. How did you...? I stabbed her in the heart with a kitchen knife. Right. I'm really sorry, Rob. You did what you had to do. Was he quick? Yes. DVD library. Oh. Hey. You think I pissed off Kat? Nah, mate. She's just gutted all the zombie geek stuff's over. All five Twilight films. Somehow the apocalypse gets worse. Let's try and get some kit before London. Can't wait, man. We should go get the girls. Yeah. Bet Kat loves Twilight. That's why she likes your moody personality. Not moody. You depressed my niece at her fourth birthday party. Death comes to us all. As soon as she accepts that happy it shall be. I can't believe it's all over, man. If you can believe it. Huh? They're the government. You can't trust them. I see you talking, but all I hear is Kat. Well, maybe she has a point. What she has is you believing in them conspiracy theories. She's been right so far. I mean, we're here, aren't we? Yeah, we are. She's done her job. Now it's time to kick back and let the professionals take over. <sighs> Hi. Ah, oh, it's the critic. Yeah. Sorry about earlier. I understand you're scared. It makes people lash out. No, no, I'm not, I'm not scared. I did just want to ask about the blackout blinds. Blackout blinds? Well, it's night in three hours. You don't want this place lit up like a John Lewis advert. Lit up? I like your thinking. We're a sanctuary. It'll be like a beacon. I'll have the floodlights switched on. Well, no, zombies are attracted to light. Zombies? Oh, OK. Well, what's the government calling them? We're not calling them anything. The current health crisis is alarming enough without people using incendiary language. Incendiary language? What, like stupid? Like ignorant, like unqualified, baldy penpusher? Yes, like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some floodlights to find. Sorry. I've got a bad feeling about this place. I can't believe you're going to sleep at a time like this. A time like what? I've got a bed. And for the first time in two days, I don't have the threat of death hanging over me like a big, angry, killer bat. Thanks for that image. You should try and get some kip. Where did you even find an eye mask? Always carry one <sighs> for emergencies. Oh, shit. There's a zombie coming. What? Oh, my God, why aren't you wearing clothes? This is a dorm room! I can't sleep constricted. God's seen him. He's not going to shoot him, is he? Sam will pull in everything for miles. He's probably got a silencer. Something stealthy. Shit! Idiot! We need to get out of here. D stop! Clothes! On. Centre's compromised. I've got to go. What? Why? Where are you going? Looking for this guy. I've seen him. Why are you looking for Jude? You know him? Yeah. Do you know where he is? Yeah. What do you think maybe you could tell me? Uh, down by the canal. Don't worry. He's dead. Dead? As, as in proper dead? Yeah, because of the fire. The fire? Burnt to death. Actually, it could have been the shotgun that got him, or the explosion. You know, thinking about it, it could have been any one of a number of things. Is that helpful? Oh, no. Have we exposed the deep state's cover-up of a disease they created? Hello, Kat. Hello, Rob. We've got to go. Come on, there's Land Rover out back. I'll get you out of here. And Kat! Oh, God, really? Such a shame you two split up. Please, Rob. Nicked your boat, by the way. 
Fine. But if she calls me a government stooge even once... I'm making absolutely no promises. Where are Sonny and the mom? Back in the room, please. Doors locked. There's an ongoing situation downstairs. We need to get out! Not according to the contingency plan outlined in the risk assessment. You're not serious! Uh, calm heads, please, gentlemen. Let's do this by the book. You've got book on zombies? They're not zombies. You know who has got book on zombies? They're zombies! They're zombies! Zombies! They're zombies! They're zombies. <laughs> Patient zero. That's why he was different. Faster. More clingy. You've killed the cure. Well done. Can we blame me for dooming us all later? Ah! 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 Get off her, you dick! Ah! 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 Hold on! My gun! Leave it! I can't leave it! Come on, come on! Oh, I'm so glad we put our lives in their hands. Where's the boat? That way. Sonny and Lamar! Who? Our shipmates! It's my ship. We are not leaving without them. Agreed. Fine. Let's just get to the boat. We'll wait for them there. Come on! Oh, fuck it! <laughs> So how do you know Jude? Just friends. Before I killed him. Jude wasn't the cure. What? I've seen Contagion. Stephen died about 2011. Patient Zero is the first case. Yeah. Although, unlike you, we didn't base our reasoning on a bad movie. Well, more was the pity at least they found Gwyneth Paltrow. By the time Jude was a zombie, it was all over the news. He's not your Patient Zero. What? You sure? Yes, I'm sure. He was a fully functioning human in Joe's bedroom till seven in the morning. First reports were at one. Can you look at my back? It hurts. Probably where you just stabbed me. <gasps> what? What is it? Nothing, just a scratch. Is the top okay? Bit ri- Oh, I hate them! with an air rifle at the funfair. They fiddle with the sights. Stop you winning. You shot yourself in the foot. Can we keep the chatter to a minimum? <sighs> Can't believe I listened to this bellend. I told you we should have listened to Cap. No, you didn't. You said we should let the professionals take over. Mate, this isn't about who said what to you or who got the strawberry lollipop. memory of old times. But we can't do this. Stay. The centre's a rallying point. The centre's a death trap. And the government's a dick. Let's do it. Where are the soldiers? How are we feeling? Okay. You okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Um, not feeling lightheaded or, I don't know, sweaty? No. You were right, you know. You have had a really shit apocalypse. I love you. You know that, don't you? Ah, uh, I love you too. Soldiers are coming. Happy now? Oh, come on! <laughs> what? 
right, Sir Hog? Nothing. Joe, Joe, untie us. <coughs> Get downstairs. What's the matter? I'm fine. Have you been bitten? No. That's exactly what someone says before they reveal a bite wound on the arm and I have to shoot them in the heart with a miniature crossbow. It's been a long apocalypse. <sighs> Take your shirt off. What? Do it. <sighs> what are you doing? Just get the bug started! <sighs> All right, chances. Trust me, I've not been bitten. <sighs> well, Joe has. What? Tell me about the kibble. Rob, why did you think Jude was patient zero? It's classified. Rob, fucking grow up! He was on a flu trial. Flu trial, so that was true. Yeah. We believe patient zero was on that trial. Okay, typical meddling scientists, bastards! Shit! Stop turning it, you're floody! the foot. You're back. You've been bled. Oh my god! Something's stuck. I need to clear the propeller. Cat! I'm dying! We need horses! Grab the rope to be horses! Horses? What about you? No, no, no! Go up to the front now and pull! I don't like horses. Well, bats, apparently. I'm not an animal person, okay? Okay. I've got my whole life ahead of me. Oh, fuck. It's, it's a soldier. Just because I live fast oh. doesn't mean I should die young. Oh. And beautiful. <laughs> I never went to coaching. How did Jude get infected anyway? Did someone bite him? What? No. Jude wasn't bitten. What? Who gives a shit about Jude? Yesterday, he said he wasn't bitten. No, but I was. Wait. Oh, they're turning two hours. What was Jude doing two hours before he turned? What do you think? And don't judge. Well, well where'd you meet him? At work. What, in Magaluf? No, here. We did a medical trial. How is that work? It's a grand bloody week. <sighs> you were on the flu trial. Then you slept with Jude, and two hours later he turned. You're saying I infected him? Who else have you slept with? <gasps> Whose side are you on? First reports were at one. What were you doing at 11? Nothing! I was in the five bells. We are the epicentre of an apparent zombie plague that started in the five bells, Bob and Gath Street. The five bells. And then you punched that guy. Why? Because he kissed me. Uninvited? That's how it started. 
Then you slept with Jude. He turned. Then you kissed Rob. Your patient zero. <laughs> Try the engine. Got one. Gonna die. If you were, you would have already. From the kiss of death. Stop calling it that! And you're not gonna die in Birmingham? No. There's always Milton Keynes. Uh, before that, there's Lackworth Locks, the Hatton Flight, that's 21 locks in two miles, then Warwick City Centre, Itchington 10, Braunston Tunnel, that's two kilometres long, then Blissworth Tunnel, that's three kilometres and haunted. No, if you're gonna die, it'll be long before Milton Keynes. You know what's better than macchiatos? Tea and strawberry lollipops. You got us out. My little sister and her mental boat. It's a multiplayer game. I can't believe I'm the cause of all this. Not just the cause. It could be the cure. God. It is all about me.